The last thing we need to do for our Amiga website, Amoeba website, is do the footer here. So it's just these text links and the copyright statement. So you can see, to me, it looks like this one's probably floated left and this one's probably floated right. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go into Sublime and we'll go here and let's put my footer. Give it a gonna give it a class content info. All right, and to me it's probably like they're, I would say that they're a list, uh, I think, or maybe the let's go with a paragraph for the copyright info, and a list for the other ones. All right, so that's our copyright. I better put a class on that. And then we'll do a list class equals, uh, let's say terms. So those are probably gonna be A, a elements because they look like they're links to somewhere else on the page. I don't remember what they are though. So we have terms and privacy and cookies. So terms. Privacy and cookies. Okay, how's that look in Chrome now? Looks okay. So, the first thing I want to look at here is that these links are blue. And if we look back in Photoshop, these links actually look black. And if we look up here, these ones also look black. So, I did actually provide styles already for the other links. If we go back in here, we have, uh, where are they? These links right here. But since both links are the same, I feel like it might be appropriate to not style these uniquely. So I'm gonna cut these out of here and I'm going to give all links those styles. I just wanna put it somewhere else so it's sort of more general. Put it right here. Because I think like all the links have the same styles. So we're gonna go like that. That's our new link style. So the color of black, and I want to just force the text decoration on them just because. And then we need to come up with a hover state for those. Um, what should our hover state be? Since they're already black, we can't make them darker. Um, I don't know. Let's just not have a hover state then. We don't need no hover states. Okay, so I've removed now, I removed the, the link styles from my icon list and I made it really general. So now these links should also apply to the footer links. And if I just check Chrome now, you can see there we go. So these ones maintain their styles and now my footer links are also the same style, which is what I was looking for. Okay, so let's go and style up the footer. So I gave that a class of content info. And let's change the font size here. So I noticed that it was 12 px, so we probably want it to be 0.75m. How's that look? Oh, that's tiny, but it'll work. And then let's put a margin on the top of it, which is 1.5, and a margin on the bottom of 1.5. Go. so it looks like that cool okay so now we want to um, left align the copyright statement which it already is and we want to right align the terms and privacy poly or float them right so let's target copyright I'll say float left and we'll target terms and we'll say float right now terms is also a list, which means that it has a margin and padding on it by default. So we wanna get rid of those. And it also means that it has bullets. So let's get rid of those. Now, because both terms and copyright are floated, that means that content info has no children that aren't floated. So we need to put overflow hidden on it. So we can force it to wrap around its floated children. All right, there we go. That looks okay. And now we probably want to target the terms 
li elements and set them to display in line so they can be beside each other. All right, so there we go, they're beside each other. Now we do have a little bit of an issue. We clearly don't have enough space at 240 to fit this on here. So I'm just gonna sort of scale this out for now. Because really at 240, I don't think it matters if they fit beside each other on the same line. But in Photoshop, this is designed at 320. So let's just look at it in Chrome at a little bit wider display here so we can just sort of see them beside each other and see how they look. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's go back to Photoshop here, see what we, what we have. So the only thing I think I'm missing is this little bullet between them. So they just have a space right now instead of the bullet. So I probably want to have that extra bullet in there just because it creates a nice separator. But I don't want to put that in the text because I feel like that's a little waste of an extra character. So how about we do some fun trickery and we generate it in CSS. So I'm going to use the before pseudo class and I'm going to generate that bullet using the content property. There's my bullet. And let's say display inline block. Okay. And let's give it a text align. Actually, let's see the color. I think we probably don't want to be dark. So let's lighten it up. Let's make it sort of a lighter gray. How's that look? All right, so there's our little wee bullets there. They're kind of rammed in there and we have one on the front too. So let's give a width to this one so that it has a little bit more space. Let's say 0.6M. I'm just guessing here. 0.6 looks pretty good. Um, we could even go a little bit more. Let's go 0.8. See how that looks. Oh, that's pretty good. Lots of space, but you can see the bullet isn't centered now. So let's go text align center on that. Cool. So there's my bullet. It's centered, but you can see I have one on the front here, which I probably don't want one on the front. So what I want to do now is I want to target terms li first child and then before that and I just want to set the content back to nothing. There we go. So there's our bullets. You can see there, there's one in the middle and none on either side. Now I'm just looking at this and my keen eye here is noticing that the space at the bottom of the footer seems to be more than the space around it. So something is clearly causing a margin. And there we go. We can see it's the paragraph. So the copyright statement has a margin on it with which we don't want anymore because it's a paragraph. All right, oops. How's that look? Uh, that looks a little bit better, eh? Cool, and there's our footer.